When you think of go-karts, what do you picture? Kids in go-karts having fun? Or greasy, grisly men competing in a blood sport for the sake of glory, fame, and a place in the history books? If you picture go-karting as some weenie hut junior sport only enjoyed by children and young adults for some fun, then you're a disgusting, pathetic vermin who doesn't understand real high-octane nuts-to-butts motorsports. In the world of racing, go-karting is the most extreme, a sport only fit for the most high-caliber athletes chosen by the Olympian gods. And yesterday, during one of the go-karting championships, madness erupted, chaos engulfed the championship circuit as two drivers really got into a heated battle with countless deaths. They're still trying to get an accurate body count for the amount of corpses they piled up in this feud, which you would expect with stakes as high as the go-karting championship. I'll, I'll just go ahead and play the clip for you because it is truly unbelievable stuff here. What's he doing? What is Luca Corberry playing at? Oh, Luca Corberry, what on earth is he doing? I'm sorry, that is absolutely unacceptable. As Kramers makes the move on Bas Lammers, Luca Corberry makes himself public enemy number one. So Slender Man over there that tossed that front bumper in the go-kart track is Luca Corberry, a massive douchebag and insufferable asshole who got very upset at this championship race yesterday because he fucking sucks as a driver who's been stuck in the go-karting league for like a decade now with dreams of making it as an F1 driver, which he is absolutely fucking burned with this right here. And he gets upset because he got into an accident that was probably his own fault and he's blaming one driver in particular out there, so he throws the bumper, hoping to cause an accident and hurt the kid. Luckily, Luca is bad at everything he does, so he wasn't even able to succeed with that plan, couldn't even sabotage the cart, and in fact, the kid just hits the bumper right back at Luca and hits him in the foot. Hopefully, it left a little bruise or something as a constant reminder of his ineptitude. It's just really pathetic stuff. Luckily, no one was hurt with this little stunt here, but Luca wasn't done. This isn't where his road rage stops. His insecurities are very deep. What a real tough guy, charging him when he had no idea he was there. Fucking Luca lurking in the shadows, going for like some kind of stealth ninja turtles attack here. Now it's important to note, Luca is not a child. Luca is 23 years old and the person that he's having this fight with is Paolo Ippolito. I'm not sure how old he is. Some people are claiming he's 16 years old, whereas I've seen things claim that he's 24. So his age is as mysterious as how the pyramids were built. But what is clear here is that Luca is about a foot taller than him. It looks like if I got into a fight with my father. And yet Luca is such a pussy that he still couldn't just square up man to man and settle the beef that way. He had to charge from out of nowhere with a fucking wrestling takedown on someone that had no idea that they were there. He's just such a fucking coward, so Paolo is twice the man that Luca is, and it doesn't stop there. The apple doesn't far, fall far from the tree in the Luca Corberry household. His father gets in on the action. The older man in the coat that comes storming in is Luca Corberry's father, who again goes for a cheap shot on Paolo. It's so fucking pathetic. I know that it's not the Middle Ages anymore and honor doesn't mean anything, but if you're throwing a sucker punch or attacking someone that doesn't even know you're there, you're a giant coward and a huge fucking pussy, and I have no respect for people like that. So basically the Corberry family here in a nutshell. And now I can't show the rest of the video here because it does go on, but Corberry's father throws punches at Paolo, and you have to be a real fucking idiot to throw punches at someone wearing a goddamn helmet. So he definitely probably broke a few fingers there, and he gets it bad. Corberry's father actually gets his ass beat by the pit crew because he, Corberry's father went even more ballistic than his son, and the pit crew stepped in, and it, it, was, a, it was a big mess. So overall, I don't know what's going to happen to Luca Corberry, hopefully banned from the sport as well as his father being banned from any kind of sporting event as like a spectator or whatever the fuck he does. 
because uh, that shit is absolutely unacceptable. That is absolutely outrageous, and somebody really could have gotten hurt. Luckily, the only people that got hurt were the Corberry family. They started all of this, and they walked away. Actually, the only ones that got hurt, so at least there's some justice there. And uh, yeah, that's really about it. I bet you didn't expect go-karting to be so cutthroat. Absolutely brutal, huh? Pretty wild shit. That's about it. See ya.